Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. You know what time of the day it is. It's time for another rebuild. Today we're doing the Miami Dolphins, as I said in that last video, which was the Saints rebuild. And um, it's currently what they look like without any transactions or trades being made. But um, first and foremost, I think I'm going to try to work on the offensive line. Because, I mean, the D, uh, coming to the lines, the D line for, for the Dolphins is nice. William Hayes, Charles Harris, Ndamukong Sue. Uh, Jordan Phillips, Cameron Wake, Andre Branch. Might trade Andre Branch for a corner. Uh, we definitely need some linebackers. Uh, that's Anthony. Stephon Anthony is uh, currently playing left outside linebacker. So we're going to have to make some acquisitions. So yeah, let's get right into it. And I don't think, for this one, I don't think I'm going to sign any free agents. Uh, I mean, I could, but I don't know. Let's see. I see what fire I could get. So William Hayes is the starter on that side. Right then, Andre Branch. Ooh. Y'all really Ooh, the Bears really need it, huh? And can Jarrell Freeman. Andre Branch for Jarrell Freeman. Oh my gosh. Holy crap. Um Biggest need is middle linebacker and left guard. Okay, so we're definitely gonna go for middle linebacker here. We'll definitely take uh who's the better option? Joel Freeman or Danny Trevathan? Joel Freeman? Oh, is this try for Danny Trevathan? Okay, I don't know why they're so eager to give me a uh, Joel Freeman. Okay, so I have to check. I have to check him afterwards. Okay, so Broncos are interested also. Uh, let's see. They got Brandon Marshall, middle linebacker. Okay, so he, he's there too. Um, Cardinals, Carl Zanzi. Okay, so, oh, Andre Branch, where do you want to go? Uh, no, Colts need some help, big time. Uh, Cowboys. Ah. We'll have to trade for Anthony Brown now, but, but that'll be another, that'll be another segment. But for now, I really need to get a, really need to get a middle linebacker, because I, that's our biggest need. Raiders. What do the Raiders have? Bro, trade for Khalil Mack? Easily. And they want a middle linebacker? Let's see if they want, have some, va show some value with a uh, Ray Malaluga. And Malaluga for Khalil Mack. It will drop in a free safety and Nate Allen. And Tony McDonald Jr. Or I don't even know how to say his name. Alright, he would definitely not work. So let's just put right in for Jarrell Freeman. Let's just hope that works. <coughs> Jarrell Freeman and we'll drop in draft pick we had three several draft picks lit trade offer was accepted cool so just got Joel Freeman okay uh, now we need a left guard so what can we get rid of we got quarterbacks okay running backs could get rid of Damian Williams uh yeah, Silas, uh, Sonora's pair. Davion Smith. No, we could sign a fullback. That could work. Uh, we got tight ends. A decent tight end crew here. Um, Lyman do need some help. Not gonna lie. Ooh. Uh, who's the right trade here? Is there any more trade pieces? They have no linebackers. I mean, I just got him. You need a corner. Uh, so I lied. I do have to sign some free agents in order to make this rebuild something worth watching. So, first and foremost, I think signing the same guard is going to help us. I mean, these free agents are the only reason why like, put, I'm doing like decent with them. Decent with these teams. Uh, left guard, 
done. So left end Quentin Cobles. Definitely sign Quentin Cobles. Uh D tackle. We definitely need some back Rashid Hagman would definitely help. Uh right end. Yeah, our left us LA maker. Could definitely go with Gerald Hodges Jr. Definitely sign uh oh no. Definitely sign uh yeah, Perry Alley Jr. And for secondary it's still no young corners we can get. Oh we could trade for Ross Cockrell. But I'm trying to get another stud corner. So we just got that better guard. Okay, so we could trade for a better uh yeah, so let's try to trade for a better left guard. We only have 3.22 million in cap room. Sheesh. Okay, so let's try to get rid of Javon Bushrod. Alright, so there's no interest in any teams. Great. He said, I want you to say my, say my name, say my, say my name. Cardinals want to de-tackle. We need a left guard. So what can you get, what can you guys do for us? Like you potty? Something to put us under. Okay. <coughs> so we have to get rid of Clinton Copels. Train him to like. Falcons for a corner. And we could definitely go with uh Jalen Collins. Uh let's see another corner. Oh Desmond Chufant. Okay, so Desmond Chufant didn't work. But we need a left guard. Ah, Andy Leviche, would this work? What? Okay, that just worked easily. Okay, I guess. It's so weird. How that just works so late. Two right guards for the price of one. So, let's see. What? Ooh. Rams actually might have some value here. So, we could definitely go for a corner. We can definitely have some value here. So, we could definitely go for, let's say, Tremaine Johnson. Oh, no. Tremaine Johnson is a 16 million cap hit. So let's see. <coughs> um, any other teams that have value? Let's see. Let's check. Oh, Colts. Colts owe some value. Let's see. Darius Butler would be bad. Ah, halfway for Darius Butler. Let's see. Besides Darius Butler, they got Quincy Wilson. It's not bad. Maybe Vontae Davis. I've never traded for Vontae Davis before. Maybe we can give him a middle linebacker. Maybe Ray Malaluga. Trading this will put us under. So we'll probably give him Perry Riley Jr. What? This will still put us under? Okay, so we just put him on the block for a quarter. We just need a decent corner that could get us some picks. Get us something. Okay, so DRC. Ah, actually no, I think I should go to the Chargers to try to get some picks. Chargers, Melvin Ingram, right end. They want a center because I'll give you guys Mike Pouncey. <coughs> you guys, Mike Pouncey in a... Oh, okay, so they're really not that interested. So, we'll take a corner. I'll take Casey Hayward then. Left tackle. Sam Young. How about we add some traffics in for Casey Hayward? 
next year's third and fourth for Casey Aaron. Okay, so it's up there. About next year's second and third. How about this year's sixth and next year's second? <coughs> this is second and six. Uh, maybe this year's fourth. Actually, no, that's giving up too much. This year's fifth. Matter of fact, let's go, let's try to for the fourth. Okay. What else I'm going to try is third. Third, definitely going to accept. Okay, so we just got Casey Hayward, just got rid of those. Okay. Now we got some cavalry to work with. Okay, next up. Who do we trade here? Do I trade Kenny Stills? So the Chiefs. And we need a middle linebacker. Or Meek Wilson will give you Kenny Stills. I'll give you a fifth rounder. Fifth rounder Kenny Stills for, for Rameek Wilson. Alright, round four pick then. Hmm. Next year's fourth. How about next year's third? <coughs> hmm. How about this year's fourth? I feel like I'm just giving up too much. That's the problem. Next year's third and fifth. Next year's third and fifth for Meek Wilson. This should be accepted easily. So just got a middle linebacker. So we need a fullback now. But apparently our right in position sucks. No, no, no. I think, I think everything should be fine. <laughs> I mean, like, this flat, this spot. Mmm. Good trade to run push rod. Good trade to run push rod for a receiver. Mmm. Wouldn't be a bad idea. Oh, I already have. Oh, okay. So I could trade Dr Gerald Hodges. Okay, okay. So Gerald, Gerald Hodges for... Okay, so this is what I'll do. I'll trade trade Jermon Bushrod for D-end. For right end. Because he's a right guard. I'll trade Jermon Bushrod for right guard. And Okay, he has a little value here, so for a right end here. Alright, so for Aaron Donald, we like to take you. <laughs> if, that, if only that worked. Uh, let's see. Hmm, what else can we get from him? Ooh, maybe Sammy Watkins. <coughs> well, I mean, that, that went up a little bit. That went up just a little bit. So maybe we try for Michael Brockers. So for that, for Michael Brockers is actually up there. And we can give them Jake Cutler since he seems healthy. And that was accepted. So we just got rid of Jake Cutler. Okay, so Michael Brockers is now on the squad. So now I get rid of a D tackle and I guess it'll be Rasheed Hagman. Rasheed Hagman will got to go. And then for him would be a right end. And they don't have him anymore. Okay, next team. Steelers. Right end. Who's y'all right end? <coughs> Stefan to it. I'll take Stefan to it. And I'll drop in a fifth rounder if we have one. Yes we do. Drop in a fifth rounder. Okay. Maybe a fourth. Okay, so you guys are definitely, definitely, definitely walling out. <laughs> um, I'm up for JJ Watt. Never tried trading for JJ Watt before. Yeah, we still don't even have cap room. 
Uh, let's try another team. Titans. Titans, Titans, Titans. And that's and D tackle is one of the biggest needs. Carl Klug or Jarrell Casey. Okay, so we'll just trade for Carl Klug. Yeah, Carl Klug. Now we'll accept. Okay, then we'll throw in we'll actually throw in a fourth rounder. We got our got some depth. Next year is third. Ah, next year's fourth. Ah. <coughs> fourth and a six for Carl Klug. Trade off was accepted. Okay, so we just got Carl Klug. So now um what positions do we have an excess at? Uh not running back. We don't have a fullback. We don't have receivers. Ooh, we don't have receivers that much. I feel like I just traded for DN and I don't even know it. So we got D tackles. Okay, that's fine. Um, yeah. Gerald Hodges, that's what we're going to do. So we're going to give away Gerald Hodges for a receiver. <coughs> oh, for Stefan Diggs. I would like to take him. Wide receiver, we get AJ Green. AJ Green, whoa. Why can't we almost get an AJ Green? First round pick. Okay, so how about this? Two and a fifth for AJ Green. Two and next year's fourth. And two. How about a two and then just dropping like around seven pick for AJ Green? Ah, you got me. How about a fifth? Okay, fine, a fifth. <coughs> okay, so they're not interested in that either. If we drop our first and second, that's not gonna help us. So we're gonna have to throw in like a left tackle. We're gonna have to throw in a left tackle. Damn, I don't want to <sighs> do it for the draft pick. Sure, I do the draft pick. Fine, just for AJ Green. We just so we just got a freaking stud receiver in AJ Green. Uh, welcome to the Bay. Sheesh. So we just got AJ Green. We just got a better offensive line. Uh, we don't have that much cap space to work with, but that's okay. Uh, actually. So we just made those moves. So next up, I think I should trade. Uh, I think I should trade Raymond Luga for a better free safety. Uh, for another receiver. <coughs> Raymond Luga for a better receiver. I think that, I think that wouldn't be too bad. Or a fullback actually. See if we can get him for a fullback. Browns. Yeah, I just need a fullback. I'm not asking for much. I know if I asked for Joe Thomas, they would give him to me, but I don't even have enough for him. Fullback. These guys don't have fullbacks. Oh, I just need some wide receiver. Alright, that works. And then we get to sign a fullback and we're on our way. Alright, so these are all the moves we made and we're here to win a championship. As you guys can see, we're here for a championship. Offensive line is stacked. So there should be no errors. And we got receivers. We got Dante Moncrief as our fourth wide receiver. Also, offense is looking actually pretty good. Defense is looking pretty decent also. So, yeah, so no room for mistakes. Should be, everything should be good. Let's send to the midseason, boys.
All right, week eight, and we're here. <coughs> we are five and three, so not bad. We are five and three so far. Looking pretty good. Thirty-six to ten, we're second round division. All right, so they're talking about him being a Goliath. So I don't know what they're talking about. Twelve touchdowns and three picks for Matt Ryan. Matt Ryan, Ryan Channel. So okay, okay, Taunt. Yes, Jay Jai, six hundred and ten yards. Yes. Receiving. Devontae Parker's up there. AJ Green up there. Uh, Jarvis Landry up there. Yes. Defense who's feasting. Six and a half sacks for him. Five and a half here. Okay. Picks goes to him. Kiko. Not even Casey Hayward. What are you doing, bro? What is Casey Hayward doing? Are they not throwing to the side? I feel like I just sim every week manually, but let me just check the standings. So they're five and three currently. Oh, Cowboys six and one, Packers five and two, Patriots six and two, Chargers six and two. He just took one of their stud corners. Okay. Sim to the playoffs because if we don't make the playoffs, then that means people got injured, which I'm not gonna take lightly because that just means that we just got sun to the maximum bars. <laughs> But so far, guys, if you're liking this, please hit the like button, subscribe down below, and comment. What else you'd like to see on the channel? There's your boy, Jay Nork. And we are in regular season week 17 and playoffs. <coughs> so we were 10 and 6 against, and we're facing the 11 and 5 Titans. And we made the, we made the playoffs. So the Dolphins made the playoffs yet again. Patriots went 14 and 2. Jets went 6 and 10. Bills went 6 and 8. 6, 8 and 2. Wow. Chargers and Jaguars made playoffs. Very interesting. Okay, so best team in the AFC was Patriots, 14-2. Second best team was Packers, 11-5. Best team in the NFC. And then Seahawks, Titans, Steelers, Eagles made the playoffs. Chargers, Cardinals, Jaguars, Dolphins, Falcons, Cowboys. Wow. So yeah, those boys made the playoffs. Browns 2-14, Ruskins 3-13, Niners 4-12, Bears 4-11, Panthers 4-11, Ravens 5-11, Rams. Any teams that should make the playoffs? Yeah, Chiefs didn't make the playoffs. Saints, surprise, Texans, Broncos, Raiders, Buccaneers, Giants, Lions, Vikings, Bengals. Bengals didn't make it. That's very surprising. Uh, let's check out the stats. Brady was MVP. Of course, he had the best record for the team. Ryan Tano, a decent year, 3,747 passing yards, 16 in the NFL, 27 passing touchdowns. JJ, 1,200 rushing yards, four, only 4 touchdowns. Interesting. Only 4 touchdowns for him, 10 for Damian Williams. Yeah, only 4 for JJ, interesting. <coughs> Seeming, no one broke 1,000 yards. AJ Green, 708, wow. Dante Parker, 941. Interesting. Very, very interesting. Karen Wake, 11 sacks, of course. What else do you expect? Uh, William Hayes, 10.5. Michael Rodgers, 8.5. Dominican, 2, 4. Charles Harris, 2. John Phillips, Jordan Phillips, 1. Jerome Freeman, okay. Looks like my team is eating with picks, though. Seems like we got a lot of interceptions. 4, Kiko. 3, Jarrell. 3, Rashad Jones. 2, 2, 2, 2, 1, 1, 1. Anyone got any... Touchdowns. Defensive touchdowns. Okay, so let's see who led in the NFL. Start off with defense. Okay, Pat Pete. Pat Pete with two touchdowns. <coughs> it's not bad. Uh, picks went to Chris Harris Jr., Ryan Chase and Luke Keeley all with seven. That's pretty good. Apparently, Junior had six on the Chargers. Sacks went to... Whoa, whoa, whoa. Brandon Graham and Khalil Mack both had 23 and a half sacks. Wow. Six and a half for Olivier Vernon. 15 for Aaron Donald. Yannick Nagaku, 14 and a half. Quentin Cobos, 14 and a half. Who I brought over there. 14 for Mario Addison. Okay, so not bad. Looking pretty, pretty good. Tackles for loss went to... JJ Wild, 20. And Sheldon Richardson, 20. Okay. Uh, tackles, Seal Warren, 154, Ray Maluga, second with 151, okay, alright, I see y'all, 
receiving. Brandon Cooks had the most reception with 111. He had he had exactly a thousand yards. Okay, just breaking the plane. And 17 touchdowns to Jordy Nelson. Cease, cease. And second was uh uh and Tony Brown, then Gronk, then Corey Davis, Daniel Sanders. They have okay, rushing. Okay, so Devontae Freeman averaged 102 yards per game. Okay, rushing fumbles. What? That's a thing. Okay. Um, <laughs> I meant to look at the uh, tackles. I mean touchdowns. Eddie Lacy with 15, and Le'Veon Bell with 15. Eddie Lacy three yards off of getting a thousand yards. Man, yeah, that sucks. So Devontae Freeman led in the NFL with a uh, thousand six hundred fifty-two. Second was Le'Veon Bell. Third was Sean McCoy. Fourth was Marshawn Lynch. Fifth was a uh, Garrett Blount. Sixth, Dion Lewis. Wow, Theo Riddick, Marco Murray, Frank Gore, Jay Jai is up there. Leonard Fournette, great year. Carlos Hyde, Isaiah Crowell, Dalvin Cook, uh, Todd Gurley, Ty Montgomery, which I'm very surprised about, Melvin Gordon, Zeke, CJ Anderson, and Matt Forte. Wow. And Eddie Lacy was three yards off, and Jordan Howard was just around the 900 mark. So that's very interesting. And most attempts probably went to uh, Garrett Blunt. Yes, Garrett Blunt, I was right. Passing yards, Aaron Rodgers. Aaron Rodgers threw 53 touchdowns with 20 picks also. And then... Brady, 48 touchdowns with 8 picks. See, so Aaron Rodgers is slinging the ball. My goodness. 20 picks, that's not like him. But, uh, we had Dak Prescott, who did pretty good. Uh, most touchdowns went to me, obviously. Okay, so, passing yards went to... Passing yards went to Brady, I mean, to Aaron Rodgers. Phillip Rivers had 39 touchdowns, 9 picks. Okay, not bad. 3-11. 335, Alex Smith 32-24, not like him. Sean Watson 24-15, Matt Ryan 30-11, Deshaun Kaiser 26-25, Andrew Luck 25-13, Mitch Risky 19-18, and RQB. Okay, so who do the least amount of interceptions? Or the most? Most was the uh, Deshaun Kaiser with 25, so... Okay, so, could have been better, could have been worse. With the highest pass for completion percentage. Uh, obviously. Lowest went to EJ Manuel. Average yards per game went to Aaron Rodgers. And then Brady. Passer rating went to... Okay, obviously. But Brady, then... Then Chad in, because I guess he played a, a while. Phillip Rivers. And Big Ben. Case Keenum. Dak. Aaron Rodgers, Sam Bradford. Okay, so, not bad. And then we'll, we'll see who made the Pro Bowl after this. Let's see how we do in the playoffs. Assuming we can get the Titans, might be a very good match. <coughs> so we beat the Titans. So we're facing our division rival, Tom Brady and the Patriots, in the divisional matchup. Ooh, should I be scared or should I be worried? No, nah, it looks, looks like everything should be fine, simply because, uh, you know, we have a better team than the Patriots, I feel. So, everything should go our way. I mean, look at everyone should be locked. Oh. I didn't know Casey Hayward was injured. Partial PCL tear. Ah. Ah. Tony Lippett. Ah. Oh, did not know people were injured. Ah, you got me. Okay, so that's caught me off guard. I didn't even notice any injuries. Offensive line is healthy, though. Steve is healthy. I just feel like we should just hope for the best. So next week, oh my. Right. Can we shock the Patriots? Ah, that was a close game. 44 to 30 is what we lost. That was a very close game from the looks of it. Very close game. 44 to 38. <coughs> yeah, so we gave them a run for the money. We might have lost by six, so by two field goals, but that was a, must have been a great game. But uh, we lost. So that's better than we did last year because last year they only they didn't even make the they didn't even make it past the wild card. They lost the Steelers. So Seahawks and Falcons will be for the NFC Championship. So since the next week, check out the Pro Bowlers. See who the Super Bowl, and then we'll be on our way. Let's check it out. Mm -hmm -hmm. 
Ah, that's not where I go to check it. You go to stats, and then uh, awards, and then go to awards. Pobo, Aaron Rodgers, Brady, Dak, Matt Ryan, Mariota, Big Ben, Devontae Freeman, The Riddick, Marshall Lynch, Leonard Fournette, Eric Blount, Le'Veon Bell. Okay. Uh, A. Brown. Okay. And then my receivers make it. We are in the AFC, so let's check AFC side. <coughs> okay. Any receivers? All right. Julius Thomas made it. Okay. In my alignment, Mike Mike Pouncey made it. Yeah. No, Maurice Pouncey did. Marquise Pouncey. Uh, Michael Brockers made it. Okay. Cody Parkey made it. Matt Dar made it. Okay. Travis Benjamin Campano. Okay, so not bad. So just like one to two people made it. But I mean, this often is pretty spread, so like everyone got some love. So I'm okay with that. And next week, we see that now it's probably like. Now to see how you can improve your team. Patriots versus Patriots versus some other team. Let's see. Patriots versus some other team. Patriots or Seahawks. Wow, again. Patriots or Seahawks again. And as we can see, the... Alright. It's probably going to be like Seahawks or Patriots. Seahawks went 49 to 14. He -he. But anyways, hopefully you guys enjoyed watching this video. This has been your boy Chris World, aka J Nark, and um, we just did a rebuild of the Miami Dolphins, and they did better than last year. They won one more game in the playoffs than they did uh, the year before. So if you guys enjoyed, hit that like button, sus subscribe down below, and comment what else you'd like to see on the channel. This is your boy J Nark, and uh, I'm signing out. Peace.